when you can see them moving on furniture, it, that's bad. An exclusive interview that could make your skin crawl. We are talking bed bugs at Sky Harbor tonight. CBS 5 Investigates talks to a Sky Harbor employee who claims that the bed bug problem at the airport is a lot worse than we have all been led to believe. Our Jason Berry joins us once again live from Terminal 4 with what he has uncovered today. Jason, this is a story that just won't go away. Yeah, this whistleblower insists he's not some disgruntled employee looking for attention. He simply wants the public to be aware of the bed bugs he's seen at Sky Harbor so that something can be done about them. In my opinion, it's, it's far worse than what they're telling or revealing. We're not showing his face to protect his identity, but this current Sky Harbor Airport employee, who we'll call Jerry, is blowing the whistle on the bed bug issue at Terminal 4. I have personally seen furniture that was so infested you could actually see the bugs moving on it. Jerry has worked at Sky Harbor for 10 plus years and tells us the bed bug problem is far more widespread than what he saw on the news Wednesday when city officials confirmed that three bed bug infested benches were sealed up and taken away. This has been a problem that has been going on for a long time and they either aren't capable of solving the problem or don't have what it takes, I guess, to do it. Jerry claims on numerous occasions he and his co-workers have been bitten by the creepy, crawly, disgusting parasites that had latched onto furniture in the Terminal 4 concourse. He says over the past few years, he's helped remove dozens and dozens of pieces of bed bug filled furniture, which has either been thrown out or placed in an empty hangar. It's gotten to the point where people are starting to realize when they're moving furniture that it more than likely has something to do with a bed bug problem. We asked Sky Harbor officials about the concerns Jerry has raised and we're told there have only been two reports of bed bugs over the past two years. So as far as sitting down and sitting in any of those chairs, I would have to have a big second thought before I did it. Now, just a short time ago, we received this statement from Sky Harbor. It said, yes, this is only the second time that we're aware of this happening at Phoenix Sky Harbor. In 2015, bed bugs were found in one padded chair. There may have been a misperception among employees working in the area at that time because about 70 similar chairs were removed and sent back to the manufacturer for warranty issues due to failing fabric not bed bugs. Obviously, two very different stories we're hearing from Sky Harbor and from the employee. You can bet we will continue to investigate this and let you know what we find. Reporting live at Sky Harbor for Arizona's Family, I'm Jason Barry.